I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. Continually. Continually. You know, there are two times to praise the Lord. That's when we feel like it and when we don't. <laughs> it's when we feel like it. I've been to church at times just tired in my body or maybe I was sick and I was going through things and I just didn't feel like praising him. But I tell you, if we take our focus off of self and try to focus on him, amen, before you know it, those praises will start coming forth. Amen. I am going to tell you this in closing. Many years ago, it was back in the 70s. On a Sunday afternoon, I came home from church that morning with a migraine. And I didn't know if I was going to make it to church that night or not. So I was sitting in the recliner. Oh, it was getting close to church at time. And, and uh, I thought, you know, I'm really not up to this. Self wanted to stay home. But I, I, I made myself get up. And I got myself together for church Sunday night. I drove myself down the interstate, got off the exit. Church was on 22nd Street. I drove and parked, went inside. I sat on the front pew. My head was throbbing. I really didn't feel like being there. Sister Browning was playing the piano, and they were singing songs about 90 miles an hour. Something about heaven is all I remember. And as I stood to my feet to worship, the head felt like it was just going to explode. And I began to put my hands together and just clap unto the Lord. And did you know the more that I clapped, the less of that migraine I felt. And before it was over, God came down, touched me like with a bolt of lightning out of heaven, and danced me across the front, slayed me in the spirit, and I came up healed by the power of God. See, if I'd have stayed home, I wouldn't have got that healing. I wouldn't have got the blessing. So see, it's so important. When we come into God's house, we come into his gates with praise, with, with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. This is the courts of the Lord right here. Do you know that? This is his courts. This is where he dwells. This is where he comes to sit with us when we gather. Amen. And he delights in, in, in people that will lift up hands unto him, that will live, open their mouth and praise him. Many years ago, Frankie and I went to this church in Tampa.